Hello. Uh, welcome to this part of, I guess the playlist is called Storytelling 101, but I still haven't really come up with the proper title for this whole thing I'm doing where I'm describing uh, elements of storytelling. But uh, this episode is a bit different. Instead of going over um, one part of like storytelling um, and analyzing it, uh, in this part we're going to use a, a movie and analyze a movie through what we've already learned um, in the episodes, mainly regarding uh, tragedy and a little bit of uh, character motivation, but mostly about tragedy and um, actually use that to analyze a, uh, a story. And in this episode, we are analyzing Old Boy, the 2003 Korean movie. Um, spoiler alert, obviously, if you haven't yet seen this movie, it is really good, so I do recommend it. Um, and we're going to be talking about how this movie has two parallel tragedies between its two uh, most important characters. And those characters are Odai Su and Li Wu Jin. Um, Odai Su is modeled after a classical Greek tragic hero, while uh, Li Wu Jin is more of a romantic revenge tragedy. Um, now Odai Su is our protagonist. He's the character we follow. He's the character whose choices move the plot forward. Um, uh, Li Wu Jin is the antagonist. He is the one uh, his goal is also revenge. Both of these characters are motivated by revenge. Odaisu wants. He, Odaisu does not know that he wants revenge on Li Wu Jin. Odaisu wants revenge on the people who captured him. And Li Wu Jin wanted revenge on Odaisu and is the kind of the, the factor behind the inciting incident, which is the kidnapping of Odaisu. So, Odaisu, as I said, is modeled after classical Greek tragic heroes. Um, his name is a direct reference to Odysseus uh, of the Odyssey, and uh, like Odysseus, he is removed from the world for a prolonged period of time. Odysseus is trapped, um, I forget what the island is named, but he is, he is trapped in sea, on the sea, after the Trojan War for, I think, ten years, and it takes him over the course of the Odyssey ten years to get home from, uh, I think it's Ithaca to Troy, um, from Troy to Ithaca, uh, rather. Um, and Odaisu is trapped in his room. He is imprisoned, he's kidnapped and imprisoned in a single room for 15 years. Over the course of their um, imprisonment, or not over the course, but over the story, both are great warriors. Um, Odysseus, of course, is a warrior, he's a soldier uh, during the Trojan War. Um, and Odaisu, during his imprisonment, uh, teaches himself uh, martial arts, and he, he works out, and he teaches himself how to become a great fighter. And when they finally return, um, either whether you count uh, Odysseus's return from the Trojan War, or um, Odaisu, um, or Odaisu releasing from his room, uh, they're they're returned to worlds that are drastically different than the ones they remember. Um, they are put in some some place where they are uncomfortable. Um, with the Odyssey being, of course, you know, the whole, the whole journey is this new and alien world that Odysseus is is thrown into. Um, well, and th this isn't something you you really get um, if you're watching a, an English sh sub. But uh, if you if you know the the history of Korea, over the 15 years um, that Odysseus was in prison, there was a great cultural shift. Uh, the language changed a lot. Um, there was, a, I think, like a technological boom. Uh, there was just so much change happening in the 15 years. 9-11 uh, happened. Um, so there was such a great cultural shift um, in the years that Odaisu was in prison that he's entering what is essentially a whole new world, a whole new Korea that he has to uh, get used to, that he is only known really from the television in his room. Odaisu also takes a lot of inspiration from other kind of classical Greek tragic heroes, with the big one, or I think the most famous of which, is uh, Oedipus Rex, is King Oedipus, who um, is kind of the, the, the typical, the, the your example of a Greek tragic hero, in that uh, both are being punished for something they did in the past that is um, ignorance, that, that is born out of ignorance. Um, we find out that 
the reason that uh, Lee Woo-jin wanted revenge on Odaisu was because uh, of a rumor that Odaisu started. Or not really a rumor because it happened to be true, but a rumor that Odaisu spread um, back way, way, way back in, in high school um, that, that he didn't know. Like, he didn't know it would be such a big thing. He was ignorant of the effects, and that ended up, you know, causing him really a lot of harm. The whole movie in the present. Um, and Oedipus, of course, accidentally kills his father, not knowing it's his father, and the whole prophecy. Speaking of the prophecy, both Oedipus and Odaisu go up against forces that are way more powerful than them. They are both great characters. Oedipus is a king. Odaisu becomes this great warrior. But no matter how how strong they are, how great they get, the, the powers they are going up against are so much bigger than them. Uh, Oedipus is going up against fate and the gods, and Odaisu is going up against Li Wujin and Li Wujin's henchmen who are outclass him in every way. They are richer, they are younger, they are more handsome, they are more skilled in martial arts, they have more resources. He's completely outclassed. And of course, by the end, uh, both Oedipus and Odaisu have committed acts of incest um, against their knowledge. They, after learning about this, this incest, they uh, mutilate themselves. Oedipus blinds himself and Odaisu uh, cuts out his own tongue. And they go into a place of self-exile. They leave and they don't return to the world that they, that they were in previously, now that they know of all the demons that they have. Looking now at the uh, other main character, Li Wu Jin. Li Wujin is based on uh, a more romantic tragic story, that of revenge. He wants revenge on Odaisu, and um, his story is a very much based or inspired by the Count of Monte Cristo. I think that story is uh, even name dropped within the movie Old Boy. And uh, like the Count, uh, like Edmund, uh, I forget his last name, Edmund Dante or, or something, uh, Li Wujin has tons of money, he is young, he is beautiful. But he is single-minded. All he wants, he dedicates his whole life to getting revenge on Odaisu for what they did 15, like years and years ago when they were children. Uh, but this revenge doesn't make him happy. Uh, over the course of the movie, he gets his revenge. He is successful in avenging um, himself and his sister, but he still commits suicide by the end. He still is not happy, he is not fulfilled. Um, by his victory. So if we look at, um, at one of our graphs, our uh, kind of plot happiness graphs that we've made many times over the show, we can compare each character's arc. And we have Odaisu in blue, who starts happy. We see him, he's, uh, he has a daughter, it's his daughter's birthday, he's, he's drunk, he's not the, 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 the most fulfilled person, but he's relatively happy, he lives a normal life. And then he gets kidnapped, and for 15 years his life gets down, down, down. He starts training, but, you know, he's still sad. He's still kidnapped and trapped. Until the point where he's released all of a sudden on, on that roof in the beginning of the movie. Well, in the beginning, and then we have the flashback and everything. And his life gets better as he, as he goes after his quest for revenge. That, um... He's, he's thinking, why, why, why was I in prison? What did I do? But, um, you know, he doesn't care really what he does. He wants to know what he did so we can figure out who imprisoned him so he can get his revenge. And he starts the relationship with, um, with his daughter, who he doesn't know is his daughter, and things get pretty happy. Uh, and he ends up fighting Li Wujin, and he confronts Li Wujin, and then he loses. He gets embarrassed by Li Wujin's henchmen. He finds out that he was in a relationship and had sex with his daughter. Um, and, he find, and, he, and he gets completely outclassed and beaten, and he ends in that state of exile where he's trying to forget everything, and he goes to um, that, that, that guru or whoever it is who promises to make him forget. Then looking at Li Wujin's story, he starts off really happy. He's rich, he's in, a really, he's in a relationship with his sister, which he seems to enjoy, and then Odaisu starts that rumor, and things go down. His sister, well, he murders his sister, um, and he convinces the world his sister committed suicide and things get really low at this point. Then he decides to get revenge on Odaisu, and this is his plot. As he gets richer, he, he, he's happy that uh, Odaisu is, is being tortured, and he reaches the point where he finally wins. He finally gets to the point where uh, Odaisu admits defeat, um, where he has finally conquered his enemy and taught Odaisu the lessons that he wanted Odaisu to learn, and then his life is over. 
he commits suicide. He has nothing left to live for. He is not fulfilled even by his ultimate victory, and he ends uh, dead in an elevator. So why are these stories tragic? What is the the bit about them that makes it so by the end these characters are not happy, they are not fulfilled? And the reason that this is a tragedy, that this story is is the way it is, is because neither character over the course of the movie changes. We have Odaisu, who begins the movie, and, and it's great, and I drew it wrong here because he doesn't begin with the long hair and everything, but he begins the movie in a, in a police station. He's under arrest for public drunkenness, and he has this great, there's this great part where he, he goes up to pee in the corner of the police station, and he, the police like tackle him and pull him back. He's like, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll be good, I'll be good. And then immediately goes and pisses in the corner again. He's, he says he's sorry, but he doesn't mean it. He wants to do what he wants to do. He wants to cause this destruction and hurt other people. He goes through the thing, he gets kidnapped, 15 years, training, finds the dumplings, finds out about Li Wu Jin, gets, you know, goes and tries to get his revenge, fails. And he apologizes and he begs for Li Wu Jin to not tell um, his daughter that about their relationship. And he cuts out his own tongue and everything and he mutilates himself. And he says, I'm sorry, I'll be your dog and I'll lick your boots and everything. And he goes immediately from that same scene, immediately from I'll be your dog to I will, I will kill you and eat you so nobody finds you. And he's still angry. He says he's sorry, but he doesn't mean it. He still has no regard for the pain that he causes other people in his life. Meanwhile, uh, Li Wujin is completely single-minded. He dedicated his life to vengeance. He wins, he gets it, and he's still unfulfilled. And he has that flashback in the elevator. Even though he's won, his, do his, his sister is still dead. He's still not happy. And his only course of action is to commit suicide, something that was telegraphed in the movie early, early on during a, the, the mysterious phone call where he talks about the nature of vengeance. So that is Old Boy as parallel tragedies. They both follow characters who will, would never be happy. Characters who, in o Odaisu's case, just have no regard for anybody else, for the, the nature of things, for trouble he causes, and so is destined to lead a life of self-destruction as he destroys things around him. And then Li Wu Jin, who was completely single-minded, accomplished his goal, but his goal didn't include any personal growth. His goal is in fact predicated on him remaining the same and holding that grudge that he has for decades. Which is tragic because there's no room for change if you hold onto a grudge like that. Um, but there are different kinds of tragedies, as I, as I covered. There, one is very classically Greek-inspired and the other is more romantic. Um, of course, both the romantic is inspired by the Greek tragedies. It's all, again, all goes back to the Greeks as we covered in that video, but um, I just thought it was an interesting sort of test case to really expand um, our understanding of, uh, of how tragedies work. So I uh, hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. If you somehow like go through this video and you still haven't seen Old Boy and I just spoil the entire movie for you, but uh, it's still a really good movie. There's a lot more to it than just the tragic arcs of the characters. There's really great fight choreography. Um, it's darkly funny in, in, in very certain ways. Um, it, it is one, one it, it's the sort of movie that uh, Quentin Tarantino saw it and wished that he had made. So if you're a fan of Quentin Tarantino and have never seen Old Boy, and you have his recommendation, as well as mine, and I think his is, carries a bit more weight to it because he's Quentin Tarantino. Either way, I'm kind of rambling now. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope uh, you got something out of it, if it was just entertaining, if you learned something, anything whatsoever. I uh, just needed to change your pace from kind of going over basics, and I thought this would be fun. Do a little movie thing. I plan to do something else like this in the future with different movies as um, as we cover more topics and stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know if I'll be doing a video next week. Um, I mean, this one's going up late. Just, you know, life is getting busier and busier. Um, but I hope you enjoy my uh, movie reviews, too. I reviewed Deadpool, um, which I liked. I had a lot of fun, so if you're interested in my full opinion on that, that video should be up by now. Um, and yeah, uh, if I do a video next week, you know, I, I might, depends again how busy I am, but, uh, I mean, this will be a continuing series. I will do more of these, um, just not on as tight a schedule as they have been. Um, but yeah, thank you again for watching. If you like this video, please rate it. Uh, if you do want more of these, eventually, whenever, I mean, I will do more of these. So if you, if you liked it and want more, please subscribe. So, uh, when I do eventually do another one, you'll be informed. Um, 
if you're interested in my reviews of movies, comic books, whatever, I do those. So please check this out if you're if you thought I have things that I'm smart and you want to hear my opinions on things. Um, and yeah, any comments, questions, any recommendations for other topics you would like to see me cover, uh, whether it's movie analysis or um, just other storytelling elements. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, other storytelling elements that uh, you would like me to kind of dissect and analyze and uh, kind of make a tutorial on or whatever these videos are, uh, please leave them in the comments and I will uh, take all of those into consideration uh, for future video topics. And yeah, I uh, hope that you'll, uh, I'll see you again, or rather you're watching, so I hope you decide to check in on me again. Thank you for watching.